स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 46 ऑलरेडी 45 लेक्चर कवर्ड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वेक्टर एनालिसिस बुक बाय एमएल स्पाइजल यू ऑल नो दैट बुक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वेक्टर एनालिसिस फॉर द बीएससी फिजिक्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स ऑनर्स एंड आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आईआईटी जैम प्रिपरेशन दैट्स व्हाई यू डिसाइड टू सॉल्व द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक इन दिस वीडियो यू वांट टू सॉल्व द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम 5.54 टू 5.55 of chapter 5 which consists vector analysis so let's go with question 5.54 says uh, a solve this equation so you can see this can be written as f dot dr or a dot dr as well so if f is uh, if we can uh, prove that f curl of f is zero then f can be written as grad five we already discussed in the previous lecture if you don't know please see the previous lecture and then solve this or take this see this lecture okay so let's start uh, in this uh, case this is the fx the coefficient of and this is the fy so curl of f curl of f can be written as nothing but i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y del del z and coefficient of x is e to the power minus y plus 3 x square y square coefficient of y is 2 x square y minus x e to the power minus y and the coefficient of z is 0 so i cap del del y of 0 del del z is 0 so this is 0 minus 0 plus j cap del del z of this this is 0 and del del x of this this is also 0 plus k cap del del x of this this is 6 x square y minus it there minus y and minus del del y of this so there is minus y and then minus so this is plus it there minus y and this is plus 6 x square y so you can see this is nothing but the zero since this is zero so f can be written as grad phi and and so del phi del x can be written as del phi del x can be written as this coefficient that is d to the power minus y if you don't know how i can write this please see the previous lecture okay so phi is integrated with respect to x this is x e to the power minus y and this is x is q by 3 so this is x is q y square y some constant x square y square some constant y1 and next one is del phi del y is 2 x square y minus x to the power minus y so if we integrate with respect to y we will get y square by 2 so this become y x square y square and if we integrate with this so we get minus 1 so x to the power minus y plus c2 you can see these two are same so phi can be written as x to the power minus y plus x is cube y square plus some constant this is the solution of this question or the phi is this okay go to the next one this is a similar question so in the similar way we can say curl of f is nothing but i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y del del z and this is nothing but z minus e to the power minus x sin y and this is 1 plus e to the power minus x cos y and this is x minus 8 z right so write as i cap del del y of this del del y of this this is 0 del del z of this there is no z this is also 0 j cap del del z of this this is 1 del del x of this this is also 1 plus k cap del del x of this this is minus e to the power minus x cos y minus del del y of this this minus becomes plus uh, to the minus x cos y so this become zero since this is uh, become zero this is conservative we can write out del phi del x del phi del x as the del phi del x can be uh, written as del phi del x can be uh, written as this so z minus e to the power minus x sin y so in this way we can write f phi equal to in integration with respect to x this is phi x minus uh, plus e to the power minus x sin y 
plus some constant. Similarly, del phi del y equals to 1 plus e to the power minus x cos y. So, this become phi equals to um, this is y and integration of cos y is sin y. So, this is e to the power minus x sin y plus another constant c2. Right. So, you can write the total solution as zx plus y plus e to the power minus x sin y plus c. Okay. Uh, this is the answer of this question. Okay. Is there any mistake? zx. This is zx. Oh right right there is another <laughs> del phi del z del phi del z is nothing but x minus 8z so this can be written as xz minus 8z square by 2 so just 4z square plus c3 so there is additional term minus 4z square okay okay minus 4z square plus c this is the solution of this question i think this is right at now okay go to move to the next question given phi equals to this this function and evaluate this integration integration is phi dr vector so this can be written as phi dr vector is nothing but i cap dx plus j cap dy plus k cap dz so this is nothing but integration i cap integration phi dx plus j cap integration phi dy plus k cap integration phi dz right okay phi dx phi dy phi dz and here here in this question given that x equals to t so dx equal to dt y equal to t square so dy equal to 2t dt and z equal to t cube that is dz equal to 3t square dt okay so put here and 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 the phi is phi is 2x y square so put the value in terms of x so 2 uh, x x means t y square that means t square square t to the power 4 z is t cube plus x square x square is t square and y y is t square so this can be written as 2 t to the power 8 plus t to the power 4 2 to the power 8 is the power 4 put here phi is 2 t to the power 8 plus t to the power 4 into dx dx is the dt plus j cap integration phi phi e phi is 2 t to the power 8 plus t to the power 4 into dy dy is nothing but 2 t dt and k cap uh, k cap phi phi is 2 t to the power 8 plus t to the power 4 into dz dz is nothing but tz is nothing but 3t square dt okay so this can be written as i cap just integrate this one uh, before that we need to uh, into this one so t to the power 8 plus t to the power 4 dt plus j cap this is 4 t to the power 9 plus 2 t to the power 5 dt plus k cap 6 t to the power 10 plus 3 t to the power 6 dt so if we integrate this one you get the this is 2 t to the power 9 by 9 this is t to the power 5 by 5 plus j cap 4 t to the power 10 by 10 plus 2 t to the power 6 by 6 plus k cap 
60 to the power 11 by 11 plus 3 to the power 7 by 7 and put the limit limit is t equal to 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 in every limit 0 to 1 in every limit so if you put this limit i cap 1 is 2 by 9 plus 1 by 5 plus j cap this is 4 by 10 plus 2 by 6 plus k cap this is 6 by 11 plus 3 by 7 so this is 49 10 plus 19 this is uh, same things for 15 and this can be written as 11 plus this is 77 this is 75 this is the answer of this question go to the next one says phi is given the uh, same question just uh, limit is changes here so at first first we need to move 0 0 0 to 1 0 0 so you can say here y is 0 that is dy is 0 and x is 0 that no 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 z is 0 that is dz is 0 x changes from 0 to 1 okay so in this integration when we put the integral this integral is like that i cap phi phi is 2x y square z plus x square y dx plus j cap plus j cap in the same thing phi dy so i put here simply uh, i cap phi dx plus j cap phi dy plus k cap phi dz right here you can see in this uh, first case in the first limit you can see this y is 0 dy 0 dz 0 so only dx term will be present so only i cap phi dx that is i cap phi is nothing but 2x y square z plus x square y into dx so this is here put the y equals to 0 so you get this will be 0 so this become 0 in the next one limit is 1 0 0 2 1 1 0 here you can see the x is 1 so constant when dx is 0 y changes 0 to 1 and z is also 0 that means dz is 0 so you can see only y is variable so in this case you get only j cap phi dy just put the value phi to x y square z plus x square y dy and here x is 1 z is 0 z is 0 means this part is 0 x is 1 so only this part is present so this is y dy so if you integrate the integration 0 to 1 the limit of the y is 0 to 1 so this is y square y 2 that means this is half and the third path where the 1 1 0 2 1 1 1 so in that case x is 1 so dx is 0 since x is constant similarly y is 1 that is dy is 0 z is changes from 0 to 1 so this can be written as phi dz so this is this is k cap integration phi that is 2 x y square z plus x square y dz so this is nothing but k cap integration 2 uh, just put uh, these x value and y value x1 y1 so this is 2z x1 y1 this is 1 dz so if we integrate j square by 2 so this is z square plus z and limit will be 0 to 1 
so if you do put this value there is two okay yeah. so this is become two k cap must be k cap there is a k cap two k cap so total total integral value total integral value will be i1 i2 i2 0 plus j cap half plus 2 k cap so this is nothing but half j cap plus 2 k cap this is the answer of this question okay thank you this is all about me this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram channel regarding any physics related question and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you get the all the video which already uploaded and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon such that you get the notification when i uploaded the new video and share this video to your friends such that he or she also get benefit from this video take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you